So our text this morning, uh, both in Isaiah and the Psalm and Mark's Gospel, it talks about a time of wilderness. The people of Isaiah's time were in exile. They had just ended 40 years of exile. And yet some of us may feel as though we are in the wilderness. But this wilderness that both Isaiah and Mark are speaking of is not a wilderness like we know. When we think of wilderness, we think of deserted land, or the mountains, or uh, the parks with beautiful scenery. But this is very rocky terrain. These people survived in a place that no one should live in. And so, at the same time, during this time, they felt that God's presence wasn't there. They felt as if God was absent. And maybe, just maybe, during this time, we feel a little of that too. So a couple times in our text this morning, I hear the word highway, and that's just our interpretation. There were highways back then too. And guess what? Those highways took as long to build as ours do now. In Illinois, we have two seasons, construction and winter. And they tend to take forever. Uh-huh, I know you agree with me. It seems like when one part of the road is finished or to a certain point, something else gets started. Ugh. And yet, we don't know when it's going to finish. And yet, we don't know where it's going or when it'll be done. This past summer, I mean construction season, three roads to the south, north and south roads, highways around me, were under construction at the same time. I couldn't get away from it. To go anywhere in the parish, I have to go south, you know, because I'm at the northern point. Mine is going to Cornell. I found a way to get to Cornell without hitting construction. But Highway 47, Route 66, and Interstate 55 were all under construction. And I don't know about you, but construction brings out not the very best of who I am. I don't like being stuck behind traffic. I don't like having to slow down. I don't like to be inconvenienced. And those construction sites were very much inconveniencing me. But yet, I want the finished product of the world, um, the roads being constructed so I can get from point A to point B without being inconvenient. And I know some of us encounter feelings on these roads, these highways during construction. Feelings that we never want to feel. Bitterness, anger, frustration. Well, those things you are experiencing now with COVID-19 is kind of like the highway being under construction. This time in which we are living has caused so much change. And yet we want things to go back to normal. We're encountering fear. We are so tired, 
tired of the fear, tired of the confusion, tired of the loss. We're tired of being lonely. We're tired of people being sick and dying. We're tired of the disconnection, not being able to be present with those we love when they are sick, when they're dying, or for holidays or funerals. We're having a hard time saying goodbye. And some of us didn't have Thanksgiving dinner with our family and we've missed birthday celebrations. Yet this last eight months, our world has been rerouted. Does that mean Christmas is going to be rerouted? I don't know about you, but I'm tired of this road construction. Tired. Yet here we are in the middle of new construction and we've been rerouted but yet the reroute has taken us to advent advent is where we prepare for christ's coming but yet at the same time we realize christ is already here Christ is in our pain. Christ is present in the wilderness. Isaiah says, comfort for my people. God cries out to us and meets us here in the wilderness, in the construction, in the rerouting. The Israelites encountered that God was no longer absent. And friends, for us today, God is present. And Mark shares with us that as we continue on this journey, Christ is to come. The one more powerful than I is to come. God is present. God is at work and closest to us in the wilderness during the construction. God is still working during the construction. This new year, this new season, so many losses and griefs, so much has changed. Feels like the construction is the wilderness and that we're not going to get out. Yet here in Isaiah, we hear the good news. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground should become level and rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. God appeared in the wilderness. John the baptizer proclaimed in the wilderness. He did ministry and proclaimed that Jesus was yet to come. And in the midst of our wilderness and our construction season, God is present. God is present. Christ is to come again, and God is at work in each of us, in you and me. Our Advent is like no other construction season before. 
But in the midst, we know, we know God is present. May not feel like it in the big things, but God is present in the small things, in nature, in the sunrise and the sunset, in your children laughing, in this technology that allows us to be together, whether it's computer or the telephone or the postal mail. In this time that we've been invited to slow down, we've been invited to see things differently, whether God is showing up as you call your neighbor or your neighbor calls you, or you look out your window and your neighbor is outside and you wave to them or say, hey, how you doing? Or say, I'm praying for you. Friends, this time is very different. This construction is tough. But in order for us to have the beautiful paved highway that we want, we have to go through construction. And this is a time of wilderness for us. But... God is with us. God is with you. God is with me. And Christ is coming. And the work of the church and ministry is still happening. Friends, know that God is working in and through you. And we are called to proclaim in the wilderness, no matter how hard it is. Cling to the fact that God is present with you and cling to the comfort that comes from knowing that you are not alone this day or ever. Amen.